Hi friends, Rev Jana Jones from High Country United Church up in Camilla, Ontario, here with you in Camilla, Ontario. Though it may not look like it for those who aren't affiliated with our church normally in person, this is part of our church. This is the drive shed. Well, I'm getting dizzy just doing this, I'm sorry. And so this place is where we hold our strawberry suppers and our beef dinner, our rummage sale. We've had a few little fundraisers like our hoedown. There's been a wedding here or a reception anyway, and so forth. And so, I don't know about you, but if we can't have very many people in the church building, we could potentially have more people here. And it's right next door to our church. So a few people are thinking that. So what we're gonna talk it over with uh, Doug and Council and see if we can make it happen. Wouldn't that be great? So just stay tuned. You just never know. So I have the measuring tape with me and I'll look at that in a little bit. And, uh, but what a great space it is. And as long as it's not too cool, we'll figure it out. That's what we do here at High Country Church. We figured things out as we go. We roll with the punches. Anyway, we're talking about discipleship and um, in some ways, uh, we're kind of doing <laughs> what the disciples did. We follow Jesus and just kind of roll with it. And how fantastic is that, that we, you know, we sometimes we have to hesitate and really think about uh, a little more than maybe the disciples had to, because Jesus said, just go. You know, only take what's on the on your back and uh, do what you need to do. Whereas here we kind of have to follow um, local procedures and protocols and then provincial and then potentially federal. And then we also have health official protocols. So there's a number of things that we have to look at, which is okay. <sighs> Christian living is so much fun, isn't it? It's one of those things that you think it's easy until you really get down and dirty into it. And then we have to remember that although, um, you know, we're called to challenge the rules and protocols, uh, we don't have to challenge all rules and protocols because some of those actually do do us well. There are some along the way that we need to challenge because social justice is a big thing. Um, but for the most part, I think much of what's, um, at least in our area, is there for the wellness of all. It's so nice out here. Not much of a breeze in here, but it, we don't have the windows open right now, and that's okay. It's just kind of a nice day. Okay, well, I'm recording this on Thursday, so we'll see. <laughs> I saw that the heat, the temperature's supposed to rise this week, so. Anyway, so if you have thoughts on uh, worshiping in the shed, let us know. I mean, I put it out there for prayers. I'm just trying to get a poll so we can kind of gather information and see where everybody's at, that if we had uh, church in the fall, uh, would you come, first of all, because some are very vulnerable and don't want to risk anything at all until a vaccine is, and that's totally understandable. We just kind of need to know where you're at. And then some would be like, yes, I'd come if the following protocols were in place, um, uh, and stuff like that. So we're going to get creative, but there might also actually be another email that goes out with a little poll maybe on our last week the update before our august shut down so things to think about and what a great if we had to worship in here for a little while that would be kind of so nice uh who's gonna clean that let's hope not susan who continues to work so hard as with a few of them um, through these COVID-19 days. So I'm going to give thanks to them who continue to help our fundraisers that are year round and uh, giving thanks for all the discipleship that you guys offer. I love the sound of the metal roof. There's something so calming about it. Anyway, <laughs> it's a very spiritual place for me. I don't know, but okay, let us pray, shall we? Loving and gracious God, as we live through these days, help us to find ways to continue to be disciples in our world, continue to challenge us to be creative and to roll with the flow and to see uh, how and what we can do in our ministry 
uh, while also keeping each other safe. But help us to do things meaningfully well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friends, until I see you tonight for prayers or tomorrow for a daily reflection, which is actually from the church in the sanctuary, or Saturday prayers, Sunday morning church, our last worship service that's kind of live um, until September. Um, and then we have prayers. It's all good. We're still online stuff is going to happen until July 31st. And then we're to uh, just Sunday night prayers through the month of August. All right. Okay, until I see you later, this is Rev Jan in the shed saying, friends, God is with you. Have a great day.